Well, as we told you earlier this month, state health leaders found a Marylander who tested positive for malaria despite not having traveled outside the U.S. or to another state with recent cases. Now, the first such case in decades. Right now, there is research being done in Baltimore to help curb and eliminate the disease malaria. Janae Reese got an inside look at the Johns Hopkins labs where researchers are working to better understand it. This is uh, our uh, mosquito insectary facility. Inside this lab is a team of scientists leading research efforts behind malaria transmission. So in this facility here we have two uh, walk-in incubators where we rear the mosquitoes. And these incubators uh, are warmer and more humid than uh, uh, the regular lab in order to mimic a real uh, malaria transmission environment. Dr. George Demopoulos is the deputy director of Johns Hopkins Malaria Research Institute. He's an expert on mosquitoes and vector-borne diseases. There are many different aspects of mosquito biology that uh, we are studying in order to eventually control transmission of the malaria parasite, control the mosquitoes, uh, and, and find new ways to kill mosquitoes and, and avoid mosquitoes. Researchers never bring any live mosquitoes out because it's what's inside that counts. And we use genetic engineering in order to study the biology of the mosquitoes so we can turn on and off specific mosquito genes and see how that can affect transmission. They study different samples under a microscope. This is where we actually study the different samples that we collect from the insectary where we rear the mosquitoes. This is where we study the DNA, the genetic material of the mosquitoes and the parasite. Dr. Demopoulos says though Maryland saw its first case in decades, the chance of transmission is still low. The fact that we've only seen one case does not suggest that this is necessarily a new trend. However, uh, we don't know how the future will look. And it is possible that climate change might change the abundance and prevalence of malaria. For now, scientists say the best thing people can do is become more aware of mosquitoes and mosquito transmitted diseases in general and continue wearing repellents. Reporting for WJZ, I'm Janae Reese.